here we have another Magic School Bus book with our friend Miss Frizzle. And this is called The Magic School Bus and the Butterfly Bunch. It was fun to be in Miss Frizzle's class. We never know what will happen. But we do know one thing. When we go on a class trip, we take the magic school bus. Looks like the kids are learning about butterflies. Today, we are starting something new. Class, what do you know about butterflies, said Miss Frizzle. Butterflies, bees, and beetles. Insects come in many sizes and many shapes. All insects have the same body parts. They have six legs, they have a hard skeleton, and they have three body sections. Only adult insects can have wings. Here is a grasshopper. He has a head. He has an abdomen, actually a thorax, and then an abdomen. Would you like to see a butterfly, said the frizz? Let's take a trip. We get on the bus and all at once it starts to change. Now, it's a butterfly bus. Class, we are at a butterfly garden, explains Miss Frizzle. <clears throat> Excuse me. It has many plants that butterflies like. Different kinds of butterflies eat different kinds of plants. We will learn that the butterfly that you're used to seeing, which is the monarch butterfly, eats milkweed. Milkweed is actually poison to many birds and other insects. And they have to be careful not to eat the monarch butterfly because they can become poisoned. The butterflies lay eggs and when the eggs hatch, they will be caterpillars. So we're going from E egg to L larva, which is the caterpillar. Now the adult butterfly will lay the eggs on a plant that it knows the larva will need to eat to grow into a larger larva and make a chrysalis or cocoon. If they lay the eggs on plants that the babies wouldn't eat, the babies would starve. All at once, the bus door opens and we jump out. Luckily, we all have parachutes. Baby butterflies. Many insects grow in four stages. When they're little, they don't look like their parents. So we're going to use this chart. Here's your elpa. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. And that's how all insects grow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Soon we start to hatch. We are different kinds of caterpillars. We do not look the same, but we're all doing the same thing. Eating. Just like in the hungry caterpillar, they have to eat and eat and eat. Now, as I told you, the milkweed plant is what is eaten by the monarch butterfly. Beware of milkweed, danger. Milkweed is poisonous. Never eat it unless you're a caterpillar. And you must be a monarch caterpillar. Good thing we all have soft skin, said the frizz. They stretch as we grow bigger, just like balloons. I can't stop eating. Well, what happens to a balloon when it gets too big? It bursts. And what happens to their skin when it gets too tight? Just like the snake, it 
first. They molt or shed, and they will have a new skin right underneath. Class, we're molting, said the frizz. That's when a caterpillar sheds its skin. We keep eating, we keep molting, we keep growing. And then we molt for the last time. And then we have a hard shell. It's called a chrysalis if you're a butterfly. I believe it might be called a chrysalis if you're another kind of insect. Or it's called a cocoon if you're a moth. But in all cases, it is the pupa stage. We're cozy in our shells. We go to sleep and we sleep. And as we sleep, our bodies change. Now, we're at the pupa stage. Egg, larva, pupa. And that's the chrysalis. We go through our last change, and when we come out, we are butterflies. Our wings are still wet, so we cannot fly. I'm hungry again, said Wanda. How do butterflies eat their food, Ralphie asks. They drink it, the frizz answers. The butterfly's mouth looks like a long tube. That's what I told you is called the proboscis. And the tube works just like a straw. The butterflies drink from flowers or from rotting fruit. And now we're at the last stage that I taught you. Egg, larva, pupa, and the adult. Watch out for that bird, calls Miss Frizzle. What, Arnold yells. Arnold's too far away. He can't hear us. Oh, I don't want the bird to eat me. I can blend into this tree to hide. I can't hide. My colors are too bright. Bright colors warn birds that we taste bad. Warning, don't eat me. Many butterflies with bright, bold colors are poisonous. If a bird eats one, it will get sick. The bird won't eat another one like it again because hopefully he learned that anything brightly colored will not taste good and will make him sick, just like our rainforest frogs. And as I said earlier, the monarchs are poisonous to birds because they eat milkweed. I can't watch, Phoebe cried. Arnold, look out. We all yell and he sees the bird and he lands on a tree. The bird flies toward Arnold. Arnold opens his wings. And the bird flies away. Now, Arnold tricked the bird because butterflies may have markings on their wings that look just like eyes. So they think there's something there that could actually attack or eat them. So the bird flew away because it became scared. Back in the classroom, we draw pictures of our favorite butterflies. Butterflies go through a lot of stages to become butterflies. And if you ever wondered what the difference is between a moth and a butterfly, a butterfly has little dots at the end of his antennae. Moths' antennae are more feathery. Butterflies are up in the daytime. Moths are awake in the evening. Butterflies have skinny bodies. Moths have plump bodies. When they rest, a moth will hold his wings. I mean, a, a butterfly will hold its wings behind them. When you see a moth resting, its wings are usually spread out to the side. 
and moths are not usually as beautiful and brightly colored as butterflies. I know you have some papers to do and that will help you with the body parts and the changing or metamorphosis of insects. Bye guys.